killing a buffalo is a risky business. But these wolves have hunted buffalo for hundreds, if not thousands of years. They know what they need to do. Storm and his pack have to attack from behind, so they must get the herd to run. The buffalo know that if they stand and face the wolves, they have the advantage. Sometimes these standoffs can last for days. But if this strategy were foolproof, there wouldn't be any wolves. Eventually, the buffalo lose their nerve and make a run for it. I can see how the wolves are testing the buffalo, looking for a young animal or one that is struggling. During the winter, the buffalo have to break trail, running through the deep snow. They tire more quickly than the wolves. Scattering through the bush forces the wolves to split up and reduces their effectiveness. But Storm is not distracted. He's got a lock on his prey. It's a yearling calf. Storm is such a huge wolf, he's able to bring this 300 kilogram animal to a stop all by himself. But the herd scattering through the bush has led one of Storm's younger sons into his own solo battle. And he tries to grab the buffalo by the front and pays the price for this mistake. I hope he wasn't hurt. A broken bone would spell the end for him. Wolves have to be in peak form to hunt buffalo. He still has a lot to learn from his father. For a single wolf, killing such a large prey is dangerous. Storm is older and wiser. And once he's wounded the buffalo, he pulls back and waits for the animal to die. <laughs> 